Okay, what I'm about to show you is a custom PvP map, as in like a modern, as in like a Call of Duty kind of map, except designed for Minecraft and like Minecraft combat and stuff like that. And it's fairly, it's fairly small. I recommend playing it during the day since it's very dark in a night being completely enclosed, resembling the inside of a rundown house or a mansion for people who want to complain about exactness. Okay. And here we go. You start out here. This is like a fridge of sorts. It's nothing but ice all around. It's a lever on either side. So if I can get out, I'm just gonna be polite, close it. And as you can see, the floor is whole. Some pieces are replaced with sand. And it is yes, it's wooden. Do not set this on fire. Well, you could if you don't care, but uh, if you want to reuse the place, uh, then you're gonna have to reload and recopy data and whatnot. What you have to do for Minecraft to get stuff back. And here's a little fireplace room. As you can see, it is not lit. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You can't exit any of the rooms. And just set that to make sure. And here's just like an empty room. There's holes like for if you had a boat to shoot through. And if it, if you if everyone has SDK's gun mod or anything with guns involved, you obviously could do this. Uh, very clear that I designed it for my for uh, Call of Duty. I keep saying Modern Warfare, but uh, Call of Duty style. And this is supposed to resemble sunlight, but obviously, if I want it to be completely enclosed, other than overhead, like those holes right there where you see it coming down. Oh, I fell. It will. You. I had to replace it with glowstone because I can't have you seeing an open like pit of rock where everything else is gonna be. And come down here. It's like the how the, the inside was like fell through, just came like a river, and all the way down some in. Oh, darn right. There we go. I do not like rain. But yeah, some like little insides. And I'm planning to design more maps, maybe pub and probably publish some of them on Minecraft forum, including this one. And like this, you'll find like hidden chests, and there will be one hidden crafting table for bringing stuff in yourself that you just didn't remember to craft something, or if you get enemies stuff and you keep going until so many people die or however you want to calculate it. So yeah. Back up the other side. This is not the same. Well, you probably know that. Closet. Spawn closet, I guess. Though you'll probably all spawn in the same place enough to come here. Blah, blah, blah. Stairs that lead nowhere into the map. Lag is hurting my computer. Here's the dance floor and a bar. The bar you can enter. The chest is empty, but you can definitely go in here. I was even showing you this one for it is empty. The other one wasn't, but uh, yeah. And I in now let's see. There's a room full of sand in there, and it's like covered with glass on the outside, so I guess it makes sense. Dilapidated floor, and oh yeah, something I plan to have in every single house oh. is I will include a mystery box with like a really lit up room that has like um a good amount of hacked in armor, like diamond everything, and a bunch of arrows or stuff like that. Things that don't require mods to acquire but are definitely useful to have on you. Such as diamond armor obviously. And it'll be hidden outside of the map's per natural perimeters but it'll be directly attached to it so based on the rules I'd set up like a readme or whatever. 
it'll have a way that only entering the map, entering the mystery box room is like the only thing you can do using tools. Like right now, this diamond axe could say cut through the wall that is like just wood that's right here. But I'd say say don't use tools or something. And so like only can attack with things in a mod or using swords and arrows and then like only using a specific tool can you break certain areas or whatever. But then that'd be just more work on my part that wouldn't require anything specific. So that's what I have for now. It took me about for curiosity's sake, this took me approximately three hours of planning work and randomizing with just throwing blocks everywhere down here to make it look kind of okay, but then again, with blocks, how bad can you make something actually look in its state? And as you see, it's like all lit by the sun. Oh, I really like that effect. Um, and whether you like it or not, I hope you do. I do plan to make more of these maps, and eventually I'll publish them, including this one I'll publish, but I do, again, do not know when I can get around to that since I'm ungodly, I'm unbelievably slow, and I stutter a lot, and, mm, like that, it's just, uh, uh, is the best answer here, sir. When that's your best answer, you know it's bad. And yeah, that's it. I guess I will actually fly out of the thing, like, show you that I'll have, like, this adminium wall complete. Right now it's just the perimeter, but it's like, I'll have it complete with, say, a door, and so you can go in between maps that'll be way out there. And that's a failed project that I'll delete later. But yeah, fly back down. I guess I'll set the spawns somewhere in here. Excuse me, I'm not using zombies mod. I'm actually using a crappy way of flying around, but it will, I guess you can still fly. So yeah, I guess I'll set spawn for fridge, and then, then that'll be it. Alright. Later.